All right, so in order to prevent columns failure, lapping zone of reinforcement bars should be considered into account. Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Why. Remember, lapping should not be used for bars having diameter more than 36 mm. However, when main bars or longitudinal bars of column are larger than 36 mm, then bars may be welded and in situations where welding is not possible, then lapping may be permitted and additional spirals should be provided around the lapped bars. Also remember, all bars that are going to be lapped should be staggered within zone B or in the middle of the column. And that is because if you are familiar with shear force and bending moment diagrams of the column, the moment in middle is minimum or you can say zero. And at the end, moment is always maximum. So lap should be provided where moment is minimum or maybe zero. Now in practical life, it can be complicated to predict zone B. So what you can do is to split the column into three zones, such as zone A, zone B, and again, zone A. Now you have to determine each zone by determining zone A by using L by 4, where L is just the clear length or maybe the height of the column. Remember, bars should not be left in same level, or you can say at the same section, but should be staggered at different sections as shown in the diagram. Also, the spacing of the ties, or you can say of the rings in the lapping zone must be minimum compared to the regular column's tie spacing. And lastly, when we tie bars in lapping zone, a 6D juggles must be provided and the juggle part of the bars should be placed over the inner surface of the bottom bar. And because of that, we can just get a uniform concrete core. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button. Press the bell icon so you never miss an update from the engineer boy.